Hi everyone. It is a chilly January day here in Wisconsin and so I decided it'd be a great time to start planting the garden again. Now if you guys remember from last year I technically had three gardens and none of them were overly large but combined I actually got quite a bit out of them. So to kind of review a little bit, I have um, the balcony garden, which is pretty much all containers. And um, I don't get a, a ton of sunlight. So I would say that it's partial shade. I mean, we do get some sun, but anyway, then I have garden number two, two, <laughs> two, <laughs> at my son's house. And that's the keyhole garden that they made, the raised beds. And um, that one's pretty much full sun. So um, I'm going to really do something different with that garden this year. Um, I'm not going, can you believe this? I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's true. I'm not going to do any tomatoes or peppers. They were terrible last year. And I, I think it was partly the plants I bought. Last year was the first time I didn't grow everything from seed. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing something different there. We're going to give that bed the year off from tomatoes and peppers. And then the third garden is uh, the one in my friend's backyard that um, they're letting me use there. Um, that garden, I am going, that, most of it gets full sun, but there are some areas that um, are part shade. Um, primarily in the afternoon, later in the afternoon. And that garden, I um, plan on doing a lot of flowers and herbs, but also some root vegetables. So there's a lot of planning to get done. But there's some really cool, um, I have a lot of gardening books, but <laughs> there are some really cool tools, software, you can use on the computer to help plan out your garden. And I wanted to show you guys these. There's, the ones I've tried so far are super easy. And I'll make sure to put links to everything down in the description box. But I kind of wanted to just show you right now so you get the feel of it. Okay, we're here at the laptop, but there's a few other things I want to briefly go over. Um, I don't have all of them, but here's a bunch of seeds that I plan on um, growing this year. And so I have brought them out so I can check, you know, all the planting stuff. Like, um, for instance, the, the zinnias. You know, if I want to start those indoors, they need to be started six to eight weeks ahead of time. So I'm trying to plan that out in, you know, a notebook and um, like a garden journal. If you don't have one, you should really make one up because, yeah, sometimes it's so hard to remember all this stuff, you know, especially the older you get. But that's um, kind of what I'm doing here. But there's something along the lines of that that I'm going to show you guys. And then... Um, this here I printed up as like a sample and this was going to be for um, garden number three, the one that the plot that's actually in the ground. And so one of these programs here was really nice. I wish I could have printed this in color, but I was out of most of my colors. So it's black and white, but it shows you square foot. And if you're limited on space with gardening, square foot's completely the way to go. So, for instance, um, down here, I have Swiss chard. And it says Swiss chard. It has the little, you know, uh, picture. And then it says how many in each square, which is two. But then over here, there's spinach, which is nine, and beets, which are also nine. 
Over here is oregano, so that's only one. And the same with uh, my lemon balm, stuff like that. So this is so nice to be able to have that, you know, right in your hand. So if you have a printer or you can go by somebody's house and print it up, that would just be wonderful. It's so nice. And um, these blank squares I have, because this is where I'm going to do some of the flowers. I'm just not sure at the moment which flowers I'm going to do. So I didn't put anything in there as of yet. Okay, I'm hoping you guys can see this. Um, I'm telling you, whoa. Uh, this is called the vegetable cheat sheet and I already got started a little bit on it but when you first come to this website it's it gives you the option of three countries to choose from the US the UK and Australia so you'll pick that and then um, it'll add, ask you for like um, oh geez what do you uh, your weather like where are you are you arid are you hot and humid and I picked temperate and then the last thing they ask you is what kind of garden are you looking at doing and I picked a plot and um, you can also choose beds and um, I don't they might have container I'm not sure I just know I picked plot and so then it gave me these results for my area it said you chose U.S. Temperate Plot Garden, and this is what it has for me that I can, that they suggest I plant bulbs. Um, anyways, let's go down here, and you can start again if you want something different. But I just was looking this over, and you can put your name in there, so I did. Sandra's Vegetable Growing Cheat Sheet. So this is really snazzy, you guys. It has all of these different vegetables. And then it has um, up here, right up here, the first one says plot garden, but then it goes patio garden, greenhouse, indoor, and then it has your spacing. And it has a, geez Louise, what does that say? propagator and then sow in direct sun sow in under glass pot sizes you would not believe it although let me tell you um, the spacing they have done in centimeters not inches so you're gonna have to figure that one out but then here it has the growing calendar um, so you plant the seeds when it's green and you harvest when it's this orange color and so it goes January through December. I love this. It's showing my plants right away. One of them here is in January. The rest all start like in February and March. And then you can scroll down further. And you have a companion planting guide. How awesome is that? And look at the different colors. So that you can, oh, I just, I'm loving this. Just loving it. It would, you could sit here and have this thing open and write down so much information in your gardening journal so that when it comes time to take all your steps of planting seeds and then, you know, putting them in containers or the ground or whatever, you can refer back to this and know exactly what you want to do and what's going to work. And then see here it says email my cheat sheet and then from there you can print it up now isn't that cool I just thought thought that was one of the the greatest things there and now here is another site and in fact I think this is the one that I showed you that I printed up so as you see here design your row or bed and it gives you these options to choose the size design your site plan and then here you have this variety of vegetable and herbs. Some of them are flowers, but they don't give you a lot for that. And um, it's really nice because it, like I showed you in the print up, um, it does the square, square foot there. But then as you scroll down, 
See, I have lavender here, which I don't plan on growing lavender. I just put it there because they didn't have chamomile, and that's where I was going to plant my chamomile. So it tells you the planting guide. So transplant into the garden after last frost when temperatures remain above 40. Spacing two plants per square foot. Pruning. Days to harvest. Hints. And then right here there's a green lettering that you can um, click on. It's highlighted. And it says learn more about lavender in our vegetable encyclopedia. So this is awesome. Like say you were growing this is lavender this is spearmint and you didn't know that they you know kind of don't like each other well if you click on your vegetable encyclopedia um it would say you know what doesn't work with each other so that is super you know so that's another one of these really nice sites then let me get over here Veg plotter. This was another really cool one. An organized and productive vegetable garden. Let me see. You get it here. I think you do have to um, sign up. You have to have an account for this one. But it is free. See, so here you would just put your information in there and then you get to um, go to their incredible site. Okay, so I open this up for you and I'm going to make um, or start to make a new bed here. Now you can um, decide what size you want it and whatever. This is just what I'm doing right now as an example. And this is such an extensive site, you guys. Uh, there's a lot to go through. But it's so detailed and it's wonderful. Like right up here, I have the date of May 2020. So there are some plants in my area that won't do well in May. And those are these um, like darker, I don't know if you guys can see that. These darker ones, like I can't click on them to move them because that would be the wrong time to put them in the garden. So I can do these lighter ones, and there we go with that. Okay, so that's what I got for you um, to get your uh, garden plans going. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. Make sure to check out the links. It's something good to get started now in the middle of winter. And I know some of you, where you live, you can actually start doing a lot of this next month already. Holy, bo you guys are lucky. Get to start gardening in February, and I don't even know if I'll be starting any seeds till March, but it's still fun doing it right now. Anyhow, thumbs up if you liked the video. I'm glad you took the time to watch it. That was really nice of you. And it was nice talking to you. And you take care.